Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library and I have got some great, um, some great middle grade fiction for you. And these books all are, uh, let's see, every one of them is historical fiction and they also happen to have strong, wonderful um, uh, female protagonists, female characters. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, this one is called With a Name Like Love by Tess Hilmo. Uh, this is set in Arkansas, and Ollie's dad is a traveling minister, leading revivals in small towns across America. But when she meets a new friend whose mom is in jail for murdering his father, uh, and he claims he insists that she is innocent, swears she is, and Ollie absolutely believes him and convinces her dad to stay past the normal three days that they do. All I can say is, uh-oh, mm -hmm. things might not turn out the way they plan. Check it out. This one is My Louisiana Sky. This is by Kimberly Willis Holt. I love her historical fictions. Uh, this one is set in the 1950s. It's a coming of age story. It was made into a movie. Um, and when her granny dies unexpectedly, uh, Tiger Ann must help her special needs mom and her slow dad, uh, but she just wants to be normal and so that kids will stop teasing her and that she doesn't have to be the responsible one. Um, and she's got an opportunity, but will she make uh, the right choice? And what will that decision mean for her family and for her parents and for her? And what does it mean to love somebody? Really whew, powerful story. Loved it. Okay, this one. Uh, our only May Amelia. This was actually a Newbery Honor by Jennifer L. Holm. And this story is about um, uh, May Amelia, who is the only girl ever to be born in her community. And she has seven brothers. So she's treated like a miracle. And it's good when they do special things for her and kind of watch out for her. But it's bad when they won't let her do things that she wants to do because they're worried about her, because she's the only girl. Um, but her mom is pregnant and she's hoping that she is going to have a girl. Um, but who knows? It is uh, inspired by the author's great aunt uh, and it is a Finnish American story. Okay, and this last one I saved, I saved for last because uh, this one is super powerful. This is the first in a series uh, by Deborah Ellis. This is The Breadwinner, and this is set in Afghanistan. And uh, just a little background on the Taliban and their extreme religious beliefs. So this is really appropriate for uh, Women's History Month and for celebrating um, women. And yeah, so uh, in the Taliban, their religious beliefs uh, are that they forbid women from going out in public without being uh, covered from head to toe. They have to wear a burqa, a full burqa. You can look that up. Uh, and see pictures of what a burqa looks like. Not a pleasant thing when it's really super warm and hard to see in. 
Uh, and women and girls cannot go to school, so they're not supposed to be educated. Uh, they can't work outside of the home. Yeah, they work, like, inside the home. They, they you know, take care of their husbands and their children and etc. Uh, but not outside the home. And they can't leave their homes without a male escort. Ever. Not ever. So, that provi uh, that makes for a serious problem. When Parvana, who is 11 and living in bombed out uh, Kabul, her father is an is arrested and there's no one to earn any money or even leave the house to get them groceries. So she must secretly put herself, putting herself in great danger, disguise herself dressed as a boy and go out and become the breadwinner in order to survive and in order for her whole family, her mom, and yeah, uh, to survive. So really, really powerful story. So all of them, all four of these great historical fictions about great, um, powerful, strong girl protagonists, um, yeah, you should check them out. This is a perfect, perfect mom month. Uh, Women's History, History Month to be reading about strong girls in our books. So, hugs to you all. Happy reading. Check these out at your local library, a local bookstore, or yeah, do it. Miss Amy.